Hey YouTube, um, coming at you with another video. Um, if you saw my last fish room tour video, I did mention in there a couple times about a new tank that I've got set up up here in my office and uh, uh, you're not seeing it right now. The tank behind us, if you're new to this channel, is a Mabuna African Cichlid tank that I've had set up for a few months now. But I thought I would show you this new tank. Um, before I do that, um, I just want to kind of address that it's something different. Um, something that I have done before, but when I did it, I had absolutely no knowledge of it. It was well before I was posting videos onto YouTube, just when I was uh, keeping fish and, and didn't know a whole lot about uh, the hobby. Um, haven't had any interest in this type of fish in quite some time, but for whatever reason, um, lately, um, I just kind of all of a sudden decided this is something I think I want to do. And I know I teased in my last, uh, or like two videos ago that I was going to do something that I have done before. And I, and at that time, what the idea was, was discus actually. And it's not discus. I, I ended up deciding to do something different. Um, I was super close to ordering, um, seven discus and, um, you know, the cost of discus, you really got to be into them if you, if you are willing to drop that type of money, at least for the ones I was ordering or thinking about ordering. Um, so I thought, thought, what else could I do in here? And I don't, I don't even know how it kind of came to my brain or my mind. I don't remember if I saw some pictures online or what, but I, I decided to go with what I'm about to show you and uh, I'm really digging it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, for a good part of this year, a lot of personal things going on, which I've addressed in prior videos, COVID-19, this and that. Um, I've, I've lost a little bit of interest in the hobby. Um, haven't given it up. Um, I've lost interest in the past and I realize if you stick it out, um, things come back to you. Um, but this actually is something that's kind of reinvigorated me, to be honest with you. I'm really enjoying these fish. My wife likes them too. She thinks they're hilarious. Um, and I just find myself turning around in my desk when I'm working at my office, um, taking a look at them and uh, just really enjoying this tank now so um, before i show you i just want to remind you as always aquatic support systems.com that's my website um you can um order fish food shrimp food shrimp products moss ledges that type of thing on there um the green pleco plush toys as well a real hot selling item uh, so go check that out and without further ado i'm going to show you what is in this tank all right, so here is the 90 gallon that used to be, or it's still in my office, but it used to be that planted uh, red cherry shrimp, fire red shrimp, and cardinal tetra tank with the uh, with the kind of iwagumi but overgrown aquascape. Anyway, if you, if you're new to this channel, go back and look, and you'll see it in old videos. But as you can see now, it's pretty plain and it houses fancy goldfish. Um, I don't know what it is about these, but it's something that really has caught my interest lately. And I decided to go um, and set something up. I was already looking to do something different with this tank and it, and it worked out perfectly. Now I know a lot of people um, that um, are involved in especially the cichlid hobby um, are going to say that these are not um, pure pure fish they've been line bred they've been genetically altered all those types of things and i understand that they they have been i'm not going to deny that that's not to say i still don't have a love for um you know pure um wild caught and and um, that type of thing, uh, cichlids and, and fish in general, but in my opinion, there's a place in the hobby for stuff like this, and right now, um, that place is in my fish room. <laughs> but, um, you know, what, I, what I'm, I guess, trying to say is that, um, you know, um, 
each to their own. Um, you know, if, if you're not into these types of fish, um, you know, this is a hobby, first of all. Um, and right now, this is what I'm enjoying in the hobby. And, um, but if you're into, if you're not into this type of thing or you're against it, uh, I'd appreciate it if, you know, you don't make rude comments and that type of thing. But there's a lot of people in the hobby that do enjoy this type of stuff. I didn't think that I ever would, uh, again, have this type of fish. Like I said in the intro, I did have, you know, just a few of them in the past. This was like 15 years ago or more probably. Um, and I didn't, don't even know what they were at the time. I just grabbed like four or five of them that I thought looked cool at the fish store at one point. I'm, I'm new to fancy goldfish by all means. I've been doing a little research and I know a little bit about them. Um, but most of all, I, I just kind of see what I like as far as colors go and patterns and, and purchase them. Um, I've gotten a little help from uh, my buddy Steve, who um, is the owner of Southern Delight Fish Foods. He's very well versed in fancy goldfish. And uh, so he's kind of given me some pointers and uh, helped me out uh, a little bit uh, with that type of stuff. So I don't know, I, I guess I'll go ahead and um, give you kind of a, a, of a close up view here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got, and uh, we'll go over each fish uh, best I can remember. Um, I, I'm, again, I'm new at this type of thing, uh, this type of fish, so I may not remember all the names, but um, I've got in this tank three different telescope butterflies. You can see here's one right here. There's uh, the other two back in the corner. There's a yellow one with kind of a black stripe between its eyes, which I really thought looked cool. And then the other one is right here. Um, each of these uh, I picked out just because uh, I, I like the pattern and the colors and the contrast and that type of stuff. So it's kind of what I went with. I'll show you this yellow one a little bit more. Also, the Aquascape, I started with just the rocks in it and it looked, I kind of liked the, the simple, simple look. When I was picking up some of these fish the other night at a local fish store, I did grab some Anubias, so I stuck them in between the rocks. I'm not sure that I like the plants. I may go back to uh, no plants and just the rocks and keep it super simple. But anyway, um, this is the, I always, I never quite know how to pronounce some of these, but Ryukin, um, this orange and black one here, this is kind of my favorite one at this point. Um, it's got the, I guess they refer to it as the polka dot pattern um, on the scales with the black and orange. Um, my wife calls this one Big Mama. Uh, not sure if it's a male or a female. When I first brought it home, the name I thought of right away was King for some reason. So I guess if we determine if it's a male or female, that'll determine the name. Um, I got a Ranchu. So this ranch shoe is tricolor, and um, we'll see as it develops uh, what kind of, uh, how the head ends up looking. But this one, and I have a hard time with the name here, but Endoishiki, I believe, is uh, the, what it's referred to with this type of color and patterns. Again, if you're if you're super into goldfish, help me out with this and don't make fun um, at my pronunciation and my lack of knowledge. But um, any help is appreciated. Any constructive concern, con any constructive criticism as well. So um, that's the ranchu. Um, this guy here, this guy's awesome. I wanted to get one fish that was almost completely or completely solid black if I could. And so I did. So this is the um, De Demekin or Demenkin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's a short tailed version. Um, and what I really like about this fish is that it's, um, it's black, but these super cool kind of gold or yellow scales on its uh, lower side of the body, like the belly area show through. And uh, now these other fish are like trying to get in the picture here, but um, totally dig this guy. 
that coloration is really cool, um, in my opinion. So um, we've got this calico fantail right here. This is another one that I just picked up. Since he's right in front of the black guy, we'll just uh, talk about him a little bit. I got two Arandas, and they're both in the picture right here. Um, the white one with kind of the yellowish head. What I liked about this one is that he had just the little orange spot on the on the tail fin, and then the black spot on the dorsal fin. And then this other orange Aranda here, I just liked uh, the coloration with the orange and then the white tail. Um, let's back up a little here. The other, this is also an Aranda. Um, this is a red cap Aranda. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this guy looks like when he grows up and see if um, the way his head is shaped changes at all. I think they're all thinking that, that we're gonna eat here because they typically haven't been congregating in a huge group like this, but um, anyway. Um, and then I also picked up, I've got three pearl scales and they all appear to be potential ones that are gonna have the crown, I guess you call it, the lump, the bubbles on the head. Here's one of them. Here's another one. And then, where's the other pearl scale? Where'd you go? It must be hiding in, oh, he's back here. Or no, that's not, this is one that I'm not sure what it is yet. If you know what, what type this is, let me know. It came out of kind of a miscellaneous various tank at the fish store, but since it was only five bucks, I just grabbed it. Where's my other pearl scale? Um, got to be behind the rocks because he was been out swimming a lot today um, not sure if you can see him back there but anyway oh no that's not him anyway missing one fish isn't that something um Something else that is in this tank, I've got three of these, uh, I believe they're called stiffened gobies. A uh, buddy of mine, Joe, from Joe's Shrimp Shack, um, someone had turned them in, just didn't need them anymore, didn't want them. And he had no use for them, so he gave them to me, and I'd been keeping them in an empty shrimp tank for a while, and I thought, oh, I'll put them in here and see how they do. And they, uh, they, they do a lot of hanging out on the rocks, actually, so that's kind of fun seeing them do that. Um, and uh, yeah, um, and then I got two small sailfin uh, albino plecos in here as well. So we'll see how those guys grow out and everything. But I think that covers all of the different uh, fish that I got at this point in here. Um, but uh, just kind of try to get some close-ups on some of them and get some good footage here. This is really the first time that I'm doing any filming of any of these guys. These ranch shoes, the weird thing about them is that they do not have a dorsal fin. And again, a lot of people are going to think that that's bad or wrong. Um, it doesn't bother me, um, but I understand um, that, that there's people that are against that, and I respect that. I used to be as well, to be honest with you. I just don't know where the other pearl skin is. Or per, have I, if I've been saying pearl skin, I meant pearl scale. Sorry. This guy's really cool. So is this guy. I, I just really enjoy all these fish. Get a little close up of this little Aranda.
And I just can't get over the color and patterns on this guy right here. Really, really digging them. Get a close up of one of the butterflies too while we're here. So yeah, I guess that's about it right now. Um, I'm not going to continue to just film footage here, but I wanted to show everybody what uh, the new aquarium is, and I hope you enjoy it. I know I am, and uh, I guess until next time, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate everybody that subscribes. If you're new to this channel, um, you know, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, if you stumbled across this because you're a goldfish keeper, I would really appreciate um, any suggestions or hints or help or if I'm getting any of these fish wrong or pronouncing things wrong, definitely help me out with that. Um, if you're new to this channel because uh, uh, you just stumbled across this because you're into goldfish, I do do regular updates on my cichlid tanks. I got a big fish room in my basement. I also keep saltwater marine tanks and dwarf shrimp. Got a bunch of tanks filled with those. So check it out. Uh, see something different maybe. Um, let me know too if you think I should get rid of the plants or not. Um, I guess you can't really see what it looks like without, but I'm leaning towards it looked better without the plants and just the rocks and keeping it super simple. So, And also, like I said in the beginning, uh, check out AquaticSupportSystems.com. Uh, we sell all types of fish food, shrimp food, shrimp products, other types of products, and uh, fish and pleco related plush toys. Here's an example of one right here. I got a goldfish stuck on the side of my tank. Uh, they all have suction cups on them so you can stick them to glass or mirrors, that type of thing. Made by Green Pleco. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Later.